Welcome in Lausanne. We are on the third edition of the Hydro Contest. This contest is a student competition where we give to all the students the same opportunity about designing the more efficient boat as possible. The rules are very simple. There is one box which is 2.5 meters by 2.5 meters by 2 meters. One engine and one battery. The one which goes faster and consumes less wins the competition. It's uh, the achievement of uh, one year of work and uh, it's a bit uh, stressful but I um, feel confident. Uh. Today we've managed to sit down as a team and work it all out and we're getting some really good times now, steady flight and foiling. We had some issues yesterday with the servo and EPFL helped us out with a piece of aluminium and now we're going to actually race them, so thank you EPFL. The spirit of the Hydro Contest is to be as much as efficient as possible, but it's also to share because we discover that we will be smarter all together than just alone in our countries. So all the students are obliged to share all their innovation, to share their experience, and at the end of the Hydro Contest there is no one winner, but they all want the same knowledge. On apprend tellement, même en deux jours d'Hydro Contest, euh, j'apprends plus qu'en deux mois de cours. On peut aller voir les autres et comprendre comment ils font pour faire la même chose ou mieux que l'année prochaine. Dans d'autres concours, on ne partage pas, c'est vraiment compétition. Ici, c'est autant le partage que la compétition. I think they are always in a creative process, even if the challenge is to win. But it's also to put on the table something new for this wonderful paradigm of efficiency for the navigation and uh, the future. We wanted to prove that we are capable of uh, doing something completely on our own, be good engineers and own this thing. I mean, everybody has put his uh, personal touch, has dedicated much of his uh, personal time, hours after hours. It was a personal challenge to succeed. We have seen different things. The most extraordinary probably is EPFL light boat with a fully electronic stability control. That's to say the ship has no stability by itself. For us it was a personal challenge. We wanted to show that it's possible to foil on only 2T foils, even in a rough condition and even in turnings. We are also convinced that it's more efficient because we reduce the drag. For the heavy, we have a submarine torpedo with all the 200 kilos inside and a catamaran on the top of a big mast. It's because like that, we can move up the torpedo on the surface and put all the load without having to do it on Earth. We can do it on the water, which is more realistic and uh, which is well for industrialization. Most of the boat is recyclable. It's basically fiber, wood and a resin, which is kind of plastic. We also apply a paint we could remove. We use a 3D print clay mold. This is really interesting and can give uh, the manufacturer a way to prototype way faster boats. Without the Hydro Contest, we just have uh, no budget to do it. It's easier to convince partners to follow us and to join us in the adventures and to push out the law of stability. The goal for the next few years is uh, to continue increasing the contest. This year that was an amazing event where we discovered that the Hydro Contest become a very big event and all the big universities around the world decided to use the Hydro Contest as an educational tool. And we are very looking forward to see the next event next year.